Hello my friends, it's Sherry. How's everyone doing today? Welcome to my channel and welcome to 10 Minutes of Crafting. <clears throat> yes, it's morning and I'm doing it again. <laughs> I was in here cleaning up my craft room, uh, just putting away a couple things and I wanted to, I had had these things sitting here so I wanted to do something with them. So there, there, um, there is where my 10 Minutes of Crafting is coming from today. So I'm going to start my timer because I would literally only have 10 minutes <clears throat> to do something here. So I've had these uh, swatch swatch papers uh, sitting here that I want to do something with. I was playing around with making uh, swatches uh, on book page and I really like how they came out. I just used, I tried using some watercolors and I didn't like how it was coming out for me because I'm not a, an experienced painter. It was, you know, watery <laughs> as far as that goes. You know what I mean? They're supposed to be watery, but so I'm not experienced with that. So I decided to try my acrylic paints and that's how these came about. So I wanted to make some little, at least card bases with these. So let's do it. Let's see how they turn out. Got my art glitter glue here. I got my paper cutter. I think I'm gonna cut off this blank section here, uh, you know on the side of the paper and then <clears throat> let's see there's a bit of a blank part over here too but if this looks you know turns out kind of cute I thought it would be a good way to use up some book pages and some acrylic paints <laughs> you know what I mean I did use a gosh I I did this a while ago I can't even remember what paintbrush I used to make the swatches but probably if I know me, <clears throat> I used probably a little sp sponge brush, you know, the little sponge brush that you get from the Dollar Tree or wherever. Uh, so I'm just going to cut off all of these. Like I didn't know how I was going to do that until I sat down here. But let's go ahead and I think I want the swatches to good be going. Gosh, they would look cute either way, wouldn't they? It's just, do I want the words <laughs> upright? Uh, does it matter? I think I want the swatches to be going this way. So, you know, next time I do this, if this comes out cute, I would do it again. I'll make my swatches going that way. I don't know. So let's try this. Let's just glue this down. This is some file folder I'm recycling. Let me see if I can get my glue, my glue flowing this morning. Okay, I'm not going to mess around with that. Like I said, I only had 10 minutes. Now I only have <laughs> 7 minutes. I put this, I cleaned this out the other day. And uh, when it doesn't want to flow, I'm, you know, I don't have time to mess with it. I just take that metal, metal um, part off, which I've been doing a lot lately because it's so much easier <laughs> to use without it. I still get a little, you know, little stream of glue without using too much glue. I know we want to be careful with our glue because a lot of them are so kind of, you know, pricey. So, see I'm not getting too much good globs or anything, but still it's flowing instead of not flowing out of the black nozzle. Works so much better. For me, so I'm just going to glue that down there because I want some stability to this. And of course, I have a lot of color not a lot, but more colors of acrylic paint. <clears throat> and I don't use paint that much, so I really, you know, if this works out nicely, I would like to do some more and use up some more of my paints so they don't sit there for years <laughs> without, you know, dry up or something. So. And this was just me playing around, really. It's not, I wasn't trying to, well, I was trying to make it look good, but I wasn't, I was playing around experimenting. So that just goes to show you, it doesn't, if these turn out cute, it doesn't have to be perfect. So this has been sitting on me behind my dresser for a couple of months, waiting for me to do something with it. So today I said, let me, I had a few things sitting there in a pile, and I've been going 
one at a time, one at a time, just you know, picking it up and doing something with it so I could get through that pile. So here we go. This was at the bottom of the pile. And then I added something to it here, which I don't know if we'll get to today. But I'll show it to you in a second. Okay, so that's basically the book page cut out. I just want to get down to the nitty-gritty here <laughs> with the book page um, part of it. And then cut it. So this one I think I have to cut this way because, you know, otherwise it's just going to be... Um, too thin if I try to cut it the other way. I'm going to try to just cut this in half. Okay, so that's a base. You know, I probably would ink around it. I got a little sliver of file folder there. I can either cut that out off or or ink it so it's not as visible. Uh, there's a little sliver over here, but it's even smaller than the one I just cut off, so I'll leave that. This one... Uh, I'll leave that too. That sliver is so small. Okay, let's cut this one. This one I think I'm going to do that way too. Um, so I can make journaling cards. I can make, uh, that one's pretty thin, but that can be a tag. These can be tags here, I guess. These are a little thinner. So I'll have two, two tags, three tags, and two journaling cards. Journaling cards now I can decorate on top of these, add something, or I can leave them like this. On the one I just said I was going to ink, let's go ahead and do it. This one has a sliver here. I'm trying not to re-ink, but I might have to. Yeah, I need a little bit more ink. Let me grab my ink over here. This is my vintage photo, my go-to. So, if you want to, if you have a little sliver, if you haven't seen this before, <laughs> you probably have, but if you haven't, if you have a little sliver showing and you don't want to try to cut it off and you have some ink like this, you can use a Sharpie too, like a brown or black Sharpie, depending on what color you want to go with or any color Sharpie, and put that around the edges too. I used to do that before I had ink. I just used a brown Sharpie. I mean, it is brown. This is brown. So, <laughs> you know, <clears throat> if you don't want to buy ink, just use a brown Sharpie or any kind of brown marker, actually. You can even use a brown, if you have a brown touch-up furniture marker, you know, brown marker that's for touching up furniture. Like they sell at Dollar Tree, I have a couple of those I've tried, and they're good for um, inking around edges, too very good they have come in a couple different two or three different colors this has a sliver too i didn't realize it was going to ink all of these but they do look good with a little kind of gives it a finished look and knocks off those white file it's manila folder it's you know it's that manila folder color so it's not white but still it knocks off that fresh cut edge so but it does take a minute this edge is kind of big. Let me cut this a little bit more. It's not big, but it's not as small as the other sides. It does take a little bit of time, so it's taken up some of my my 10 minutes here. <laughs> so we're not going to get to the other thing, thing that I have here to work on that was in my pile. But uh, I will show it to you at least, and then that will be another day. Maybe another 10 minute crafty morning session. Uh, there we go. And one more. So we got our tag shapes. I do want to cut a little angle on the tags though. But aren't they cute? And they're just kind of, you know, I don't know. They're not anything like super artistic but I think they're kind of a little bit artistic you know okay let's do our little our little corners I'm still within my 10 minute window here okay there's one little tag that is cute uh, let's see I'm not going to be picky here I'm just going to cut <laughs> because I don't have time to be picky <laughs> I'm trying to hurry a little bit because I really do want to stick within the 10 minutes I kind of need to too or else, you know, every little minute that I 
push into my time for getting ready for work could possibly make me late for work. And I like my job. I want to keep it, so <laughs> I don't want to be late. Not that I, you would get in trouble for being late, but you know what I mean. I'd rather be on time than late. Just me. <laughs> it's just me. <laughs> okay, these are the journaling cards. Now, see, this is a little piece of my art, <laughs> which is nothing fancy. I'm not really... I. My, maybe shouldn't call it art, but I am. So, a little piece of my art I can put into a junk journal. Here's the back that can be written on. So these are journaling cards. My 10 minutes is up, but I want to show you real quick. Aren't they cute? Little tags. I can add a topper or you can add a decoration or leave them just like this. Uh, so when I picked these colors out, I, was, I think I picked these out because I was like, well, what colors do I need to use up? But I just grab some colors and they all go together. Kind of yellows and browns and greens there. So nature uh, kind of colors. There we go. So, and the other thing I wanted to do, which I have to do another day. My 10 minutes is up, but I'm going, I'm going. <laughs> uh, let me put my lid back on my glue. But the uh, thing here is, uh, this is a waterbed city folder. My son gave this to me the other day and it is from when my parents bought my brother when he was like 19 a new bedroom set because he had grown out of his old bedroom set. He was uh, he was shorter of course when he was younger and then when he grew up he grew up to be he's six seven yes you heard it right six foot seven inches <laughs> at the time they bought this though he grew until he was like 25 like he grew he was probably over six feet tall when they bought this bedroom set <clears throat> and then he grew like five more inches after that so he was probably like six two and my parents were like wow he his you know feet hang over the bed and or whatever his legs is probably not comfortable so even though he was 19 and maybe be leave, maybe leaving home soon, he might have been 18. But uh, anyway, they were like, you know, let's get a new bedroom set. So they bought him a water bed. At that time, it was uh, what's when we bought water beds popular. I'm gonna say 19. Gosh, it might have been about 19. Let me think for a second. 1980. Well, the date's probably in here. Hello. Anyway, all the paper... The what the, the point of the story is the waterbed set was passed down through several generations here. Uh, my brother had it for a long time, and he even used it after he got married for a while. <clears throat> and then he gave it to my older son, and he used it for a while because who doesn't want to, you know, use it, have a waterbed? really cool right and then my younger son it was passed down to my younger son when my older son didn't want it anymore so it got its fair use and I actually have the dresser that I have behind me that is from this set <laughs> believe it or not so um and my son my younger son sold the water bed when he got a new bed <clears throat> but anyway um this is all the paperwork let's see oh it was night oh it was 1988 here's it here's the date right here 1988 but here's all the paperwork from it. So I guess I could use some of this, like yellow paper. I didn't know what I wanted to use. I thought this was really cool, this business card from Pompano Beach, Florida. Salesman Kevin Kravitz. <laughs> and then uh, here's the rest of the paperwork. I mean, everything is in here. Of course, my parents kept it, of course, and then they passed it down with the waterbed set. <clears throat> and, well, gave it to my brother, I guess, when he moved out. And then um, my brother passed it on to my, I guess, um, you know what? It was probably in one of the drawers. The waterbed had little drawers underneath, like a, you know, a base. And then, an, or maybe one in the drawers because it had a, it had a nightstand and the dresser behind me and a mirror and the waterbed. So here's another nice piece of paper I could use. Here's my mom's notes about the uh, whole deal here and the receipts. Oh, look at that. She put the receipts behind the post-it here to hold it all together. 
So, isn't that funny? Here, oh, here, was this it? This is it. This is my dresser. If you've seen my uh, video videos, you have seen this dresser with, and I have little labels on it now, but it's still in really good shape. It still looks new. And here's the sea nightstand, the water bed. It was gray. This is, looks white here, but he had a gray, like a light gray set for boys. There's the mirror. So, mm -hmm. here's the uh, here's the other water beds, but that one on the front is the one he had. <clears throat> but wow, they had a whole well water bed city. They had all the water beds, right? <laughs> oh, here's a mattress. Well, they had the. Mo I wonder if this is probably motionless or something. I'm not sure if that's a regular mo mattress or not. They might have had regular mattresses. I don't. I never went to the store, but my parents went there for my brother. But anyway, very cool, right? <clears throat> Sorry, it's morning. Here's the linen catalog, or booklet, to pamphlet. You have to have waterbed sheets to go with your waterbed. <laughs> and there you go, all the sheets. Oh, he had this set right here. It looks familiar. Right there. That looks like his set. See that one, the black and gray, with his gray set? That's the one he had. <clears throat> I recognize it. That's funny. It jumped out at me because I recognize it. Here's the folder. has a pocket here. And so I was trying to think of how I could cut this up. I like this part here, you know, because it's so, like, vintage looking. I thought I might cut this up into tags, and then I'll see what I can do with the paperwork. So that is sitting on my dresser now for me to use. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed like 10 minutes plus of crafting and I'll see you in my next video. See you later.